Hello all, I am Soundarya KS and I am here with an another interesting video. Today, in this video, I will tell you about the ping pong game. Let us create the ping pong, complete ping pong game in the code.org program. The, the link for code.org is in the description box below. So in, even if you don't have any coding knowledge, it is absolutely fine. You can just come with me. Don't skip the video. Just code with me. Go to the, once you are in the code.org, go to the create, go to game lab, and a new project will be open for you. Now, you can rename it for your convenience. I will rename it as Ping Pong Game. I like that name. <laughs> Ping Pong Game and save it. Now, I will increase the font size because I have many suggestions of increasing it. Yes, I think this would be good. Now, I'll make this preview more larger. Great. Oh, ping Pong Game. This is the sample one which we are going to create. This this ping pong game exactly what, of what it is now. I'll just reload it. We are gonna tell press space to serve, and when space key is pressed, the ball needs to start moving. And when we miss it, I will show when we miss it. So again, one point goes to the player uh, computer, and again, second point, third point fourth point and in the fifth point you will get game over press r to restart the game when you press r everything needs to refresh and come to the uh, same place now let's start creating it it might sound very hard but it is very easy let's create it first of all we need to create sprite of the ball and the Ball, computer pad, and the player pad. The ball will be situated in the middle, which is like this. The ball is the rectangular ball, and we have this player pad here and the computer pad here. So let's create it. Uh, we need to create the variables. Variable ball. Is equal to create sprite because we are creating the ball now. Sprite bracket. Um, now I will put 200, comma, because when I click here, which is the needs to be the center, I have this one. This is the exact center in my board. I have drawn a draw, but this is the exact center. So I I will put 200 comma 200, which is the exact center. We don't want it to be in the side, the ball. It should not be supporting to any of these sides, right? No, neither the computer or nor the player. So I'll put the width and the height. Can you see that? We have sprite. We have parameter of x, y, width, and height. So you can always see examples and learn with it. In uh, in uh, this is what it is like. Um, uh, exposition exposition is nothing but exposition is nothing but this line till this place, and y position is nothing but. So now. When this corner is 0, comma 0, and while the uh, while you are going to the right, the exposition increases. The full canvas length, the full length of this full board is 400, comma 400. So when you go to this straight corner, you will get the exposition as 400. And Y position still remains the same. So 400 comma 0 will be this position. When you come down, the exposition uh, not, not changes. I mean the, this point, the point. So you have this 0 as the exposition. And white changes to 400. 
and when you come here the x position also changes the y position also changes so 400 comma 400 so half course in the middle it would be 200 comma 200 because it is a straight half so after explaining that i will move on i have created the wall now i will create the player panel which is to be player panel is nothing but in which we are moving i will delete this is equal to is equal to create sprite create sprite and put the as V80 comma 200 because it should be the half of the thing so 70 and war computer paddle is equal to create sprite a pen comma 200 x and y position with which would be 10 comma 70 the same width and height for the player uh, same as play panel so the size is the same now i run it okay can you see that it is not displaying can you guess why can you can you finish guessing what what was the problem Pause the video if you if you want to think. Okay, I'll tell you the answer. It is because we have just created the sprite. We can see here uh, what it has written. Create sprite. Create sprite. Create sprite. It did not draw. Only in the function draw, it will draw the sprites. And we have a unique function which is draw sprites when you pull, pull it and push it here it will draw all the sprites so now we get the basic setup for our form game let's have the now okay now what we will do is we will have the computer scores here so that we can we will know like what is the basic alignment of the game we will create the basic output of the game like this one com uh, the computer uh, score and the player score so that we get better understanding of our game now i will tell the computer that in the variable the computer panel is variable because sorry the computer score is variable because the computer score and the player score keeps keeps on increasing when the uh, player uh, loses the computer wins the computer score is plus one so it is keeping in uh keep on changing itself so we will put it as a variable computer score but the default computer score is zero because while it is starting, it would be zero. Player score is equal to zero. And now, for, com for computer and player score is not a sprite. So we need to display our computer and player score. How should we do that? We need to use this command called text. Text. Uh, you can get the string string data type will always have the two colons like this like this and like this this is the string data type string data type is nothing but the text data type while you write but which is not the text data type it is the we need to write computer score here because we want only the computer score to display comma the x and y value um the input x value as 160, 20. Now the same text for the player score. Comma and same x and y value 20. 
same thing. So now I'll reset and run. I have got the computer and the player's post now. Now, for creating, can you see the line in the center? The line, actually it's a line which is created by the loop. We can get the loop in control. Yeah, in control. This is this for loop. I'll see, see examples. So this for loop is nothing but instead of typing a block of statements again and again, you can use a for loop around the block of statements. The most common usage of a loop is simply to use it as a counting loop to execute a block of code a certain number of times. So now, instead of creating one line here, 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 I will create a loop. So, right there, I'll create a group. So, as I said before, we will now, actually, we in this video, first, first thing, I will first work on the look, look of the Pong game. We will get the look of the Pong game. Then, we will give some AI to the computer panel, the uh, mouse by for uh, the player paddle, the ball bouncing off and bouncing, uh, bounce off and bouncing off later. Now, I will tell, I will put the same, I'll just drag and drop it. I, they said for variable i is equal to zero. For variable i is equal to zero. So, what is i now? i is equal to zero. I now I will change it. I will I will first will change it and write the code and I will explain it to you clearly now using the code. The variable i i one minute I will write the finish writing the code and then I will explain it to you. I will write line two hundred i comma 200 comma i plus 10. Great. Now, let me tell the thing. So, first for variable i is equal to 0. So, now we already know that variable i is equal to 0. I have told the variable i is equal to 0. That is clear. Now we'll we'll go to the next line. See when there is a semicolon here, that means this part, this part, this sorry, um, this part is over. This part is over. So this part is one part, and coming to the next part, I when I is below four hundred. When I is below four hundred i is equal to i plus 20 so i will be keep on changing i will be um moving on 20 so when i is equal to zero i have said i is equal to zero so first i will be zero then i'll increase the stroke then it will go to i will be 20 i will be 20 then it will be 40 then it will be 60 then it will be 80 then it will be 100, 120, 140 and so on. So we have said i is equal to i plus 40 and i need to be below 400. I need, I should not go above 400. I will explain why it is later but first let us understand it. Now I have so told line 200 comma i comma 200 comma i plus 10. So let us know the parameter for the line. When we say line, we have line and drawing, I think. Um, RGB rect. Yes, we have this line. Let us see the examples. When we say line, you stroke. Okay, oh, that's fine. It does not explain well, so I'll explain on my own. 
when we say line it is like when we need to tell the computer we need to give the uh, computer the parameters of x1 x1 y1 x2 y2 this is nothing but the starting x1 and y1 is nothing but the starting i'll put the one as like this so that you don't get confused now the starting if i want to draw a line from this to here so i'll put the uh, x and y value for this uh, maybe say x um i'll just put uh, just for example guys so maybe i put um this exam this is 73 20 so i put 70 3 20 comma and this x value this x and y value which is 345 comma 325 i'll put it 345 comma sorry for the numbers 325 okay so this is how i will write to draw this line in the computer so now i have uh, given this line 200 200 is nothing but the x1 value x1 value comma i i is nothing but i will be keep on changing i will be keep on changing plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 i'll give you one key when uh, the draw uh, the only the draw function will be repeating keeps on repeating but the setup which is at the top will run only once so when the computer uh, keeps on repeating this raw function first time it would be a zero second time it would be 20 third time it would uh, third time it will be 40 so like that you just go on and on till 400 so 200 comma first time it will be zero so it will it will create a, a point where 200 comma zero then it will go to 200 comma i plus n so i is again going on this i is now we are now adding the i with plus 10 so now i will first delete this all this drawing and i will run this code so i got this line so let me just put i here and let us i'll okay now can you see this only a dot why is this is a dot because we are now creating a we we have just created the so now one minute yes this is the x and y value and this is also the x and y value if only if there was a difference between x1 uh, x uh, x and y value of this and this you will get when there is more difference you will get more uh, more length of the line see if if we are drawing a line from here zero comma zero and we are drawing line to here which is the four four hundred comma zero there is a difference between them so when there is a shorter distance where you take 10 10 comma 0 there's a shorter distance so when there is less distance we can say the the length of the line will be decreased so can we say that when the difference is more the length of the line will be more when the difference is less the length of the line will be less so we need to have the difference that's why we put plus 10 here great now so that we can say this is 10 pixels now 200 comma i comma 200 comma i plus 10 now i will remove this i and check let us boot zero let us just test for can you see this is a this is not a dotted line this is just a straight line because it is starting from 200 comma 0 which is which is right here and it is just increasing and it is going till here so i 
is needed for that y position to change for that single line to be formed so i i will write the uh, same i here so i hope everyone understood this piece of code which is very tricky to understand missing semicolon okay i'll add the semicolon acha okay now let us after we have uh, done the setup go to the part 2 where i will say the ball will be moving the player paddle will be moving and when the ball skips of the board what will happen if that, that will be in the next video which is the part 2 thank you if you like my video please share like and subscribe my video thank you thank you